Hey guys, welcome back. We are about to get into all the things I have been loving and obsessed with, things I am currently using and cannot put down. So get you a snack, get you a drink, get comfortable, and let's get into it. So you guys know Sephora just had their spring savings event. I have been using a couple of the products from my hauls and I have a testing new product video coming up so you guys can see some of the makeup that I hauled. But um, I have been loving a couple of the products that I mentioned in those hauls. So let's get into skincare first. Okay, this is not a product that I shared in my Sephora haul. I don't even think you can purchase this off of Sephora. I know you can Ulta but I don't think it's on Sephora, but um, it's the NARS Skin Light Reflecting Moisturizer. You guys have heard me talk about this a million and one times, and I've also shared it in a few Get Ready With Me's, but this is one of my favorite lightweight moisturizers. It's a little on the pricey side, but if you're wanting to invest in something that's going to give you a nice glow to the skin, something that's going to wear beautifully under makeup, I have it on today. And just something that's light, that's not too heavy, that's just going to make your perfect moisturizer for spring i think you'll really enjoy this so this consistency is kind of like a gel type consistency it's not too thick it's just really nice on the skin so i've really been enjoying this i use this pretty much every time i do my makeup this looks so good with the nars light reflecting foundation but i've been wearing it with um obviously that foundation and i've also been wearing it with my which is the one i have on today which what is it the makeup forever skin Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. So I feel like it'll go with any foundation, honestly, but it is a nice light moisturizer, which I think is really nice for the spring and summer. So definitely been enjoying that. Now onto a more heavier moisturizer. This is the new Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. That is a lot to say, but they reformulated this moisturizer. Um, I did see that there's actually another one just like this. It's more of like a gel consistency, um, but I got the one that's the cream and y'all i've been going through this stuff i usually use this at night but recently i've been using it in the morning times too and i just like how thick it is how moisturizing it is and i haven't had any complaints with it so um again it is uh, again it is the water bank blue hyaluronic um cream moisturizer from laneige and the packaging is actually really cute too super adorable um okay let's talk about serums you guys i love me a good serum and one i want to talk about is actually one that i just emptied and it is going in an empties video y'all i have my empties video going up on when am i gonna post that i don't know for sure for sure when but one is coming up and i'm mentioning a ton of good products in that video so be on the lookout for it but this one right here is the good molecules discoloration correcting serum y'all 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 okay y'all oh, i don't want to say y'all because a lot of you guys are new to my channel but my og subscribers do you guys remember back in the day when i used to use cores am i saying it right cores caress K-O-R-R-E-S. Do y'all remember when I used to use that skincare? There was a serum that I was raving about and they discontinued it. This reminds me so much of that serum, you guys. This is so much like it, like the consistency of it, even the way it smells. It just reminds me so much of the Coors serum. And it's crazy because the one from Coors does what this one does. So... I pretty much got my serum back and I went ahead and purchased another one since I just ran out of this. So if you were a fan of that serum years ago, this, just go ahead, try this out. I think you'll really, really, really like it. And then the Hyper Even Brightening Dark Spot Serum. So this is the one I'm currently using since I just ran out of the one from um, Good Molecules. So this is a vitamin C serum. This is supposed to brighten the complexion and target dark spots. I definitely see a difference when using this. I will say that my skin has been looking brighter, more healthy, and more even too. So really been enjoying this serum. I mean, I feel like they both kind of do the same thing, but this one from Hyper just makes my, like my overall skin, my overall complexion look 
brighter and I don't know it just looks so healthy when I'm using this but I really have been enjoying both of these serums and my skin I've been loving them so I definitely had to share them with you guys all right so we have body care next this is the Ole body wash it's the fearless one this is the one well one of the one of the washes that I shared in a drugstore haul it was a little over a month ago but I've been using this one from that haul and I have been obsessed I don't know if I like this one more than the other Olay body wash y'all know which one I'm talking about the purple one that has retinol in it I don't know which one I like the most so and I know some of you're gonna ask that because y'all know I love me some Olay body wash but I really like this one I like the way it smells and I also like how my skin feels super duper duper soft after using this um, it also doesn't dry out my skin either so I definitely been um, enjoying this and it does have vitamin C in it so really good for the skin so had to share that and I'm still using it too this is bomb and then you guys OMG this st. Jane luxury body serum y'all I kid you not this is so much better than the necessary body serum and I say that because this one I don't need to put on a lotion or body butter after using this like I can just use this by itself and be good the one from necessaire I feel like I have to go in with a lotion or a body butter or a body cream because I feel like it's not enough this stuff right here is bomb it is everything I'm gonna pump out just a little bit of it just to put on my elbows because I feel like I need a little bit more you know a little some some on my elbows but it is so nice and it does have CB in it, um, CBD in it so very very nice and relaxing if you want to use it for um, your night routine this is perfect for that because it's gonna relax you and it just smells really nice too it's not too strong it it kind of smells like a little bit of lemon but it's not like overpowering yeah I feel like it's not strong at all and then sometimes I just layer it with a lotion or a body cream but honestly you guys I can just wear this look at that look at that glow I should have put some right here let me kind of rub it right there but it's so nice and ah uh, it's almost like a body oil look at that I freaking love it so I had to share it with you guys I'm still using it to this day I usually use this at night because it is it does have CB, uh, CBD in it and I just feel like it relaxes me but sometimes I like to use it in the morning times too but I really 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 like this stuff so check it out if you are wanting a new body serum all right girl if you are wanting to try out a new drugstore sunscreen I have been really enjoying this one from Avino. it's the protect and hydrate sunscreen with SPF 30. this is kind of similar to the black girl sunscreen but it's actually more it's thinner than the black girl sunscreen so when you squirt it out you have to be really careful because it will come out really fast but it definitely gives me the glow that i get from the black girl sunscreen but it's not as um it's not as greasy as the black girl sunscreen and i know some people don't like how i guess greasy or shiny or yeah i'd say greasy because i i heard a lot of people say that they don't like the black girl sunscreen because it's greasy this one is not this is going to give you the glow this is going to protect the skin because it has the spf in it um why did i just say it like that <laughs> but um i've been enjoying it this is just something that i would just throw on the body if i'm going to be out in the sun and yeah it's sweat and water resistant um, up to 80 minutes so yeah I just want to share that with you guys if you are looking for a um, just an affordable drugstore sunscreen and you just want to try out something different this is really good and I have been really enjoying it let's talk about fragrances these are still pretty new to me because I just got them during the Sephora sale but y'all when I say I have not put them down Ellis Brooklyn Sunfruit this smells even better after wearing it for over an hour like it just it just goes with my body chemistry I love it it has I don't know it just smells like summer to me and I feel like I said the same thing when I hauled this in my Sephora haul it just literally smells like I'm just on a beach somewhere and I'm just drinking my pina colada I don't know girl it just 
Mm, it is so pleasant. I love it. So I have been enjoying this like when I'm, you know, going out or not going out, but like leaving the house, running errands, because girl, I don't be going nowhere like that for real, for real. But you know, just running errands. I'll spray this on me. And I found that this does, um, it lasts a good minute. So really been enjoying that. And then this, this is the Floor Not Your Baby um, perfume. I got the smaller size, as y'all can see. This is the perfect, 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 every day, just getting out the shower fragrance. It's so fresh. It is a little powdery, which I'm surprised I like it because I don't really like powdery scents but this one like the dry down it smells incredible on my skin this is what i have on today and i still like oh well i just put on that that body um the body serum and the spf but this smells so good i love it it's something different that i honestly don't have any like i don't have anything like this in my perfume collection so um yeah but I'm just surprised I like it because I don't really like powdery scents, but this, it's just something about this that I, I think it's the vanilla in it because it does have notes of, I think it said vanilla milk, something like that. And mm, it just smells even better once it dries down on my skin. I love it. So had to share that with you guys. Okay. Surprisingly, I only have lip products left, which I'm kind of shocked because I thought I had more stuff to share with you guys, but um, lip products. I know y'all have heard me talk about this, but it had to be in this video because it wouldn't be a favorites video without mentioning this. This is the NARS lip mask. If you guys don't like the Laneige lip sleeping mask, I say try this out. I've just heard a lot of people say that the Laneige lip sleeping mask dries their lips out. So give this a try. I know I have said this to you guys before. So if you did go out and um, if you did go out and buy this, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments of this video because I'm very, very, very curious to see if you guys like this more than the Laneige. I like it more than the Laneige. So I just want to see if any of you like it as well but yeah it's the orgasm lip mask and it comes in this color it literally looks just like the berry yeah the berry one from Laneige and it also goes on just like Laneige it like it just it's so similar but I feel like this one is more moisturizing on the lips than the one from Laneige so um oh it does have a scent but it kind of smells a little Mm, kind of like a rose to me like I don't know it's very light I can't really put my finger on it but it does have a really light um refreshing scent to it it's not too strong like it's not gonna give you a headache but it's nice um so I'd say give that a try if you are looking for a new lip sleeping mask and if you don't really care for the one, um, really care for the one from Laneige, and then this right here, this is the K Skin Sun Care Lip Balm. This has SPF 30. This is what I put on my lips pretty much all the time. I don't really have any lip products that have SPF in it, so that's why I went ahead and got this during the Sephora sale. This smells. Um, the more I wear it, the more I smell it. I realize that this smelled exactly like the summer fridays lip balm so if you have the summer fridays lip balm you know that sweet vanilla type of scent that's what this smells like and i didn't realize that until like i said after i kept wearing it and i was like this something's not right this smells just like something i already have um but it smells good i like how you know the vanilla scent is so and it also has the same tip as the um summer fridays lip balm the new one because y'all know that they repackaged the lip balm um on summer fridays why am i squirting this out why am i about to put this on i don't know i'm just putting it on <laughs> but it's really glossy it's not sticky mm, and it smells so good so really been enjoying that and i think you guys should try it the last two lip products i want to share are also from um my sephora haul this is the ulta beauty Ulta Beauty, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar Boo, I believe. Yeah, Sugar Boo. Okay, so I haven't really been wearing liquid lipstick. The only one I've been wearing is the one from NARS Cosmetics, the Soft Matte. I always forget what it was, what it's called, because I feel like I'm always mentioning this to you guys. Um, it's the Air Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Surren uh, Surrender, and that's what I have on today. I have on that with a little bit of lip liner from NYX Cosmetics. It's 
I actually want to, um, the new, I should have brought that down here. NYX Cosmetics has new lip liners. It's, um, dang it. I'm going to have it in the description, but that's what I have on with the NARS, um, soft matte lip cream. But this shade right here has also been my go-to shade, y'all. It's very, um, nude, but it looks so good with a brown lip. So I would describe this nude as, um, Kind of like a orangey beigey type of color like it's not it doesn't have any pink undertone to it so it's a really pretty true nude so this is what i've been wearing um if i'm not wearing the the one from nars and i absolutely love it so wanted to share that with you guys and this is what i've been topping off whatever i have on my lips this is the uh, natasha denona it's one of the new lip glosses from natasha denona in the shade kala so if i just want like something a little glossy on the lips not too too glossy i would just top it off with this and since i've been wearing the um nars liquid lipstick because it is like a nude color um i just think this pairs really good with it and it also pairs with the one from huda beauty that i've also been wearing so really pretty natural nude colors and you guys know i love me a nude like i don't need any more nude lip products but i just can't help it i cannot help it but anyway that is it that is everything yeah that is everything i wanted to share with you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this favorites video let me know if i shared anything in this video that you guys have tried out what is the product do you like it do you not like it let us know down below in the comments let's talk about it but that is it girl thank y'all so much for hanging out if you enjoyed today's video give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye